talking about our new Blackmagic Cinema camera. I know there's been some discussion about some of the specs of the camera already. I want to talk a little bit about some of the philosophy behind the camera. You know, there's great film cameras and there's great video cameras. We wanted to find a camera that kind of combined both. It was a film camera, but was affordable and accessible to a lot of people. And that's what really drove a lot of the development of this camera, trying to find something that was very workflow oriented. Blackmagic has a strong history of dealing with post-production and workflow. Uh, we had a lot of this technology with Resolve and our Hyperdeck lines and our compression. So we were, we were already 80% of the way there to building a camera. It was really just kind of getting those last few pieces into developing this camera. And we wanted it to have the workflow oriented bits that we felt were missing, adding Thunderbolt adding DNX HD ProRes as well as the Cinema DNG. And it's not about creating a camera that's going to compete with a high, high-end camera. It's about creating a camera that is addressing an underserved market that wants that film and post-production ability, uh, but needs it to be kind of more in that video camera space. We've launched our Resolve 9, which is a new .o version that we've created. And this version really is about talking about speed, how to get things done, how to get things done quickly. Uh, there's a bunch of things we've done like a graphical interface update. And this is really looking at how do I get from point A to point B as fast as possible. A lot of stuff under the hood's been done. It's not as glamorous as uh, other releases where we've added a great lot of new features. There are new features, new log features, new audio features that we've added in there. But really the whole mode of DaVinci Resolve 9 is adding the speeds. It does have a fresh new interface, speeds things up, but it's a free update available to all DaVinci Resolve 8 customers. We're continuing to work hard to create a great product that gets people color grading, people who haven't color graded before, color grading for the first time, uh, people that are real color artists, empowering them with the features and the tools they need. And it's always a fine line that we walk between trying to create product that is great for the high end, but those 10 guys we can't build the product for, otherwise there's not enough market for us to fund development. So that's why we need to sell thousands of copies of the software and why we give out a fully robust free version because we need to get students and independent filmmakers involved in the art of color grading in order to feed this pipeline up and create this big market. So the Mac and PC version are certainly where the bulk of the users exist today. This product we're looking at right here is our Ultra Studio Express. Ultra Studio Express is our next Thunderbolt product that we've developed. While it does have analog and HDMI, it also adds a single link SDI in and out as well. So it's a great functional capture I.O. box using new Thunderbolt technology. And at a price of $4.95, we feel it fits into a nice place for people who don't need some of the features of 3D or dual link, but need that di serial digital cable, have these options with this product. Late last year, Blackmagic acquired Terranex. Uh, Terranex is a long-standing company that's been known for really high quality up, down, cross conversion boxes. And what they sold was a product that was a big box that did a lot of different conversions, but it kind of ranged in the 10 to $90,000 for these different products based off of how much software you added into there. Uh, what we were able to do was basically do a bit of miniaturization. We also wanted to add Thunderbolt onto these products because Thunderbolt's such a great way of turning this into a, basically a capture card. So when we think of like a deck link or a multi-bridge, this is basically a really beefy version of that because it's got all that up, down, cross-conversion capabilities with Thunderbolt making it a capture card. So we've made two models. We've got our Terranex 2D processor, which is basically a single channel, and we have that available for $1,995. And then we have a 3D version, which is basically a two-channel version, which we've got available for $3995.